Hey, this is Chris from Stockspot, Australia's largest online investment advisor. Rebalancing is a topic that comes up quite often with our clients who want to understand why we're buying or selling certain ETFs in their portfolio. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining the basics of portfolio rebalancing. Um, now, psychologically, rebalancing is a bit of a strange thing because what you'd expect to happen in the share market or investing in general is that if things are doing well, you buy more of them. And if things are doing badly, you throw them out of your portfolio. And certainly if you're buying individual shares, that's a smart strategy because shares that are performing badly tend to do worse and worse and shares that are performing well tend to do better and better. Um, but at Stockspot, we're investing into whole asset classes, not individual shares. And therefore, rebalancing has the effect of actually moving money out of things that have done well into things that haven't done as well. Um, and the reason we do this in a diversified portfolio isn't because we think that the things that haven't done well are about to do well, it's actually all about risk management. Because when you start investing with Stockspot, we give you an asset allocation that's appropriate for your risk capacity and time horizon. It has a certain amount of growth assets in it and a certain amount of defensive assets. But over time, what tends to happen is that those growth assets grow faster than the defensive assets. For instance, over the last year, Australian and global shares have grown by over 20%, but government bonds have only grown by 70%. So the shares part of your portfolio has become bigger and therefore your overall portfolio has become more risky. So rebalancing is about harvesting some of those profits from those investments that have done well, moving it into those investments that haven't done as well, and therefore recalibrating your portfolio to be taking the same amount of risk. And what it means is if there is a market crash or a market correction, you're not gonna suffer by too much because you have both some growth investments and defensive investments at the right proportions based on your risk capacity. Um, now, a question we often get then is, well, what is the right approach for rebalancing? And there's really two options out there that have been um, tested and considered from an academic and empirical perspective. There is a time-based approach, and then there is a threshold-based approach. A time-based approach is pretty simple. It goes something like every six months or every three months or every year, we're going to rebalance everything to get it back into its original mix. Um, the benefit of this is it's very systematic. You can open up your calendar, you can mark the dates, and you can go in and do the buying and selling. The problem is sometimes markets don't move very much over three months or six months. So you end up doing a lot of tinkering, um, leading to a lot of brokerage and realization of capital gains. It isn't really necessary if there aren't a lot of movements. And that's why we actually prefer at Stockspot the second approach, which is a threshold based approach. What we look at is each asset within your portfolio and we create bands around it. So we might say if shares are supposed to be a 20% part of your portfolio, if it gets above 25% or below 15%, we're going to rebalance. But if it doesn't, we're not going to do anything. And what that does is it allows assets to move and allows them to grow and move a fair way away from their target weights before we do anything but not too far where it's going to add unnecessary risk to your portfolio. Now, this threshold-based approach leads to rebalancing approximately once every year or so, although we've seen sometimes rebalancing more frequently, like around 2020 when there was a lot of market volatility. And we've also seen a lot less uh, frequent rebalancing over periods of time as well. And that is a summary of the benefits of rebalancing and why we do it. It's really about recalibration of risk in your portfolio, doing it in a systematic way and harvesting some wins, um, putting it into the underperforming assets to keep your portfolio in kilter with your appropriate risk.